The pain of inflation is now impacting the price of one of New York's most essential food groups. We're talking about pizza. This is now upsetting the decades-long balance between the cost of a slice and the cost of a subway ride. Jennifer Williams has more on how the pizza principle is now in jeopardy. With the average cost of a slice soaring above $3 throughout the five boroughs and the MTA freezing fares at $2.75 a trip, the pizza principle, a staple of NYC economics for decades, is in jeopardy. It seems like they're maybe drifting apart currently, but who knows? Maybe when the MTA raises prices again, they'll, they'll start matching up again. Pizza and the subways are a fundamental part of New York City. I would assume in the long run the, the two will get back into line. Perhaps even go down in price, who knows? The pizza principle serves as a predictor, with an increase in pizza prices usually signifying a matching spike in public transit fares. The rule has held true since the New York Times first coined the revelation in 1980. That is until now, an unfortunate sign of the times. It's also unfortunately costing business owners more to keep their doors open. Increased costs of labor and raw materials have led to pricier pie. It's been hard because everything, it's more expensive for us to begin with, everything, from the paper to anything you buy, it's more expensive than before the virus, so the prices have to go up. Jet Shala has owned La Familia on the Upper East Side since 2004. Last week, for the first time in over three years, he increased the price of a slice of cheese pizza by a quarter to $3.25 a slice. We've kept the cheapest pizzas in the neighborhood if you go around. We always did that because of the hospital. We always took care of the hospital. That's our main thing. I think the subway is going to go up also, right? <laughs> I would imagine that it would probably get worse. <laughs> On the Upper East Side, Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.